Okay, we're going to go over the extra practice, which was on page 263. I asked you to do 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. Um, if you did it, here are the answers. Number one, the answer is 14 for number 15. <laughs> number 17, the answer is 20. Number 19, the answer is 2. Number 21 and 23 are word problems, so make sure you write down what the number is, what it refers to. So 8 what? In this case, for number 21, it's 8 centimeters squared. And for number 23, the answer is 23 movies, or specifically 23 action movies. More on that later. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. Again, if you're done, you can congratulate yourself, study for the quiz, and check your homework. Just make sure you got everything nicely done and turned in. Okay, anyways, back to number 15. All right, it says, you estimate each product, use a bar diagram if needed. Okay. I think at this point, some of you get the idea. So I'm not gonna draw a bar diagram this time. The idea is that we have this, the idea of one third. We have a hole, we're cutting it up into three pieces. And out of those three pieces, we only want one. We're gonna shade it in one, right? And we, ha and we do this 41 times. One third, shade in one. Draw another one. Uh, cut it into three pieces, shade in one. And the goal here is you're gonna divide the numerator by the denominator, but you wanna think of a compatible number, something that'll divide evenly, okay? 41 doesn't work. 40 doesn't work. Does 42 work? I think so. So I'm gonna cross that out and write 42. I'm gonna rewrite it like this as a whole, the fraction becomes a whole number. 42 over 3. And again, this is just a division problem. So you're going to divide 42, which is the dividend, by the divisor, which is 3. We're making groups of 3. Again, I can make 3 groups, sorry, 1 group of 3 out of 4. 3 times 1 is 3. And if we remember, we did this with number talks. We broke this up into 40 plus, but more on that later. Anyway, and then we bring it down to 2. And 3 times 4 is 12. So that means 14, the it is 14, uh, approximately, about, right? It's just an estimate, 14. Number 17, two ninths of 88. Okay, I have to divide this by this somehow. Okay, again, the idea is you have two ninths, 88 times, all right, or 88 groups. Or you have $88 and you have to divide that into something that's less than one. So what do you get? Okay. The point is you can divide this by that. <clears throat> Think of a number that's, that's compatible with nine in terms of division. Does 88 divide by nine easily? No. 87? No. 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 81 maybe. But in this case, I'm going to think of 90. Nine times nine is 90. 88 is closer to 90. So I'm going to go with 90. I just went ahead and changed it to a fraction. All right, here's the deal. 2 times 90 is 180 over 9. It's a division problem. You can do this later to verify on your own. You can divide 180 by 9. I'll even set it up for you. You can do it at home to verify that it is 20. Is it? I could be wrong. I could be lying to you. No, I'm not. It actually is 20. All right. If you notice, I'm going kind of fast. You can draw your own bar diag diagrams if you want. But I think you get it. I might do it later when we get to the word problems because that's word problems are a little harder. All right, 19. 3 eighths times 4. Uh oh. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? We have to estimate, do this quickly. Now, what we've done with the other two problems is we've, ch we've changed the whole number to be compatible with the denominator. It's four. I'd have to divide. The whole point here is to kind of, I can divide eight or four by eight and it gives me a, a decimal, it gives me a fraction. I don't want that. But you know what? You don't know we have to change the whole number. Look at this, look at the three eighths. I kind of noticed that half of eight is four. I'm really close to the halfway point. So why not change the fraction instead? Half times four. I'm gonna do this real fast. Half times four over one. Numerator times numerator. Denominator times denominator. 
The answer is two. They flipped the script on you. Again, it's thinking. Look, one and two I, I did really quickly. Boom, boom. It's just, a, it's just a pattern. It's a routine. Compatible. Change the whole number to something compatible. Change the whole number to something compatible, right, with the denominator. Compatible denominator. Compatible denominator. Here we're saying, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I could make this into eight, and that'd be one. Three times one is three. I guess that would still work, yeah? So if you did that, that's fine, too. Again, it's just a sample answer. There's more than one possibility, okay? Could have changed eight. But think about it. Three eighths. I only want it four times. I don't want it eight times. That's that's too much, right? If, if, if this was money, right, like three eighths would be, let's say, I don't know about this, but let's say it's 50 cents. If I have to give 50 cents to four people, that's $2. If I make it eight, now I have to give to I have to give four dollars out. That's too much. That's a big difference. You know, it may not sound like a lot, but wait till you get your own job. You're like, yo, wait, wait, wait. So what I did instead, I looked at the fraction. Hey, can I change this? It worked out better. Anyways, twenty one. Twenty one. Again, this is the name of the game. You may not like math, but one way or another, you all need to think. Thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You don't want someone taking advantage of you because they know something you don't. All of you have the capability. Okay? Anyways, here we have a rectangle. Seven, seven eighths centimeters. One and one third centimeters. We have to find the area of this rectangle. You already know by now it's length times width. I'll put on the side area equals length times width so you don't forget. Right? Seven, seven eighths times one and one third. Again, some of you might already know, but I'm gonna go through all the steps so you can see where I'm going with this or where I came from. Saying it correctly, seven and seven eighths, one and one third. Seven eighths, I'm not even gonna divide them. Look at this, denominator is eight, numerator is seven, I'm one away, I'm gonna say this is closer to one. I think you might agree with me, I hope. One plus one third. Like I said before, if you're one away from the zero, go with the zero, okay? So one third is closer to zero. Okay, I know, I've already heard some of you complaining. Here, 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 here's the benchmark, here's my proof. So we might be a little upset with me about this. All right, half of three is 1.5. 1.53, one third is right here. Okay. Seven eighths. Half of eight is four, four eighths. But seven eighths would be somewhere here. I'm hoping you can see that seven eighths is closer to one. One third is closer to zero. It's closer, to, okay? So let's go with that. If you're one away from zero, go with that either the zero or the one. Don't worry about the half. Unless you see a problem like we did earlier with the 10 where you got a 10.5 or some weird thing, then use your own judgment, whatever you think is best. The, the, goal about, the goal with estimating is to make the math easier for you to do in your head, okay? And since so it is estimating, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just don't be that far off. If you're close by plus or minus 10, you'll be fine, okay? All right, last one, 23. Whew, Javier is organizing his movie collection. He discovers that five-eighths of his movies are action movies. If he has 46 movies, about how many are action movies? All right, again, this might help if we draw a picture this time. All right, five eighths movies. So out of eight movies, if you had eight movies only, five would be a certain type. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a bar. Okay, I'm gonna cut it up into eight parts. One, two, Three. Okay, like I said before, ideally each part should be equal. Obviously it's not, but I just want you to understand the concept, okay? Five eights. There's five eights. So out of eight movies, five would be action movies. And I forgot to put the word action. So five out of eight movies, I'll even write it out. Five out of eight movies are action. So all these are action movies, again. For every eight movies, five are action movies. Now, how many movies does this guy have? He has 46. Right? Okay. 
What does that mean? 46. Now, for every 8, 5 are action movies. Now, I have to think of some number that I can divide by 8 that's compatible, right? With 46. Now, 46 doesn't work. 45, no. 44, no. What about 48? 48 divided by 8 is 6. Well, let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but let's give it a shot anyways. Okay. I said 48. So 48 divided by 8 would be about 6. Right? Okay. Six, 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 six. Okay. So if all these are all these movies, forty-eight movies, five out of eight are <clears throat> are action movies. That's six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Six times five is thirty. Right? That would be thirty movies. Six times five. Right? Maybe thirty movies. Yes? Let me do the math. Five eighths of forty-eight. Remember, we agreed that it wouldn't be forty-six; would be forty-eight. Change it into a whole to a fraction. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of doing a trick. All right. You already saw that this works, right? Because we're dividing. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the math. Five times eight is forty. Five times four is twenty. Plus four, two hundred forty. Okay, two hundred forty over eight. That's a division problem. Thirty movies. Give it a few seconds. Now, some of you that were paying, that are paying attention realize. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the beginning. In the beginning, didn't you say the answer was 23? 23 action movies? And here you have, <laughs> apparently can't spell action. But here you say you have 30 movies. What happened? I'd like to say I planned it on purpose, but I didn't. I'm not going to lie to you. I went my own way. But I can tell you how they got 23 if you're interested. Okay. Let me show you something. The math equation is four, 5 eighths times 46 movies, right? Now I showed you the bar diagram to show you how this works, but the idea is for every eight movies, five are action movies. If we have 46 movies, how many are action movies? Okay. I changed this to be more compatible with this. I change it to a 48, so I can divide evenly by 8 to get 6, and then 6 times 5, 30. However, what the book did, and actually this happened with another problem before. Look at 5 eighths. What do you notice? What's half of 8? 4. The numerator is 5. We're one away from the halfway point, right? 5 is too far away from 8 compared, it, it's much closer to 4. I guess it, what I'm saying is this is closer to the center than it is to the end. So what they did was, hey, they decided to make the fraction compatible with the whole number. And let me put this here. Five-eighths. Half of eight would be four. Five-eighths is right here. They said, hey, it's actually closer to the midway point. So they did five-eighths is half. Now, why would they want to do that? Why did the book go that way instead of the way I did it? Hmm? Look at this. By changing this fraction to a half, instead of changing this to 48, look at this nice little numbers. I can multiply easily. 
I can divide evenly. Smooth. Look at what I did. What makes this hard is that I get a bigger number, right? Then I have to divide a bigger number by this to get that. It still works. And it makes sense. But let's think of it. If this was a 1, it would be fine. It would just be 6 times 1, 6 movies, but it's not. What's going to happen is some of you might forget to multiply by 5, right? Because every other problem we've done, the numerator was usually 1 or 2 or something. And you divide it, and then you multiply it by the top number, and you're good. But this would have thrown a lot of you off, okay? So just be careful. Be aware. I just showed you. There's more than one way to do this. So in terms of compatibility, you can change the whole number. You can change a fraction, or you can change both. But try not to do that. Try to change only one of them to make it work easy. Okay? But that's the thing with estimating. So many ways to get this done. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you did well. hope you understood it.